Well, now that the Marley Trophy series is over, we've uh, stayed on for an extra week because there's been a grand challenge thrown out. The gauntlet is down. We have two very famous celebrities challenging. They're having the temerity to challenge the two great professionals that have been with us for the last nine games, Jerry Pate and Lee Trevino. On my left, making the challenge, we have the great man from the world of the cinema, Sean Connery, and on my left, a man called Mr. Thomas Allen, one of the most superb singers in the world today, Royal Opera House, a man not only talented for his wonderful singing voice, but also for his prowess with the golf clubs, as I well know, because I went round with him at Prestwick, and uh, he did me up fairly considerably. Gentlemen, welcome. Welcome, Thomas. Nice Thank to you, see Peter. you, sir. Uh, you're still smiling. I'm amazed. I know. I was, I was, I'll have been humiliated before. Oh, well. Uh, You've got a good partner there, sir. I'm thrilled to bits because I'll need one. Will you? Are yeah. you a bit rusty? A little. I'm sort of over the hill at the moment. I've been oh, overindulging no. in work. Work, yes. Well, it's good. <laughs> What's that? Work, what is that? And what about you? Are you feeling... Well, confident? we're not on stage. We're not singing today. I uh, see. Yeah. <laughs> Sean left all the machine guns and the funny cars at home. So you feel pretty good? So uh, I think they're on our home grounds right now. I've got a great partner. Uh, he's playing quite well. Um, I'm playing quite badly. I watch Sean on the practice tee. Poorly. And most of the balls are headed toward Edinburgh. So... Uh, <laughs> Your man seems in good voice there, Jerry. Well, I'll tell you, you know, you got the super mechs for a partner. It's, it's kind of hard to uh, to lose. He's probably the greatest match player there is in the world. And, I'll uh, talk I, him out of it. I'll I talk look, him I out of it. I look forward to it today. Yes. Well, the handicap situation. Well, Sean is nine and Thomas is eight. But because the great fella here has been a little bit rusty, we're going to give him seven strokes. Thomas over there is going to get five. And uh, I'm just going to spin a coin up. And I'm going to give Mr. Connery the opportunity of calling... Sales. And you're right. Seven. <laughs> uh, the format of the match is better ball, four ball. The game you play every weekend. Indeed it is, and the course is the same as all the other times we've played around in this series. The first hole, the fifth, at opening par four of 356 yards. And this promises to be a very good match indeed. Opening up for the pros, here's Jerry Pate. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, sure. Ooh, that's down there, baby. That's long. You had to dial O before you hit that one. <laughs> the long distance? The long distance operator. Yep. Oh, yeah. Perfect. And Trevino gets a good one away also. Now the challengers go forward some 10 yards and they both receive a stroke. Sean Connery, as we said, has been uh, rather sorely out of practice and he has played one game against Alan Price, not up to his usual standard, so we're being rather benevolent and giving the big fellow oh, an extra shot. couple of strokes. Very nice. He gets uh, an extra one at the fifth and the seventh and he's opened up with a four wood from the tee and a very good drive indeed. Thomas Allen, three wood. Oh, Thomas, you didn't do that against me at Prestwick. Oh, all right. Oh, off the back end. That's all right, I'm a little nervous too. <laughs> a little fast. Well, I'm in charge of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't Thank sing. Thank God I can still sing. <laughs> now then, up to the hill they go. Thomas, just trying to whack it back on the fairway. And that was tough stuff, and it just gets out. Third shot. That's a good shot. More care. Just not enough. That caught the sand. So, a lot of strain being put on Sean Connery on this opening hole. And his second shot after that good drive will be played with a pitching wedge. Big green. Sean, not the most rhythmical of players, but a great competitor. And that's heading a little bit to the right edge of the green. Over to the way there, up on the edge. There it is. That's 
just okay. There for one. Now Trevino, a sand wedge. Very close to the to the green and not so easy to get the ball close. Don't pull it. Pull it, pardon. Should be on. Back. Back left. Tate also with uh, a sand wedge after that after that huge drive. And that's a good one. Frightened of going too far and got a, a little too much spin on it. Fourth shot for Thomas Allen. And that's a very good shot indeed. Now remember, this is a different match this week. This is a four ball match play, better ball. So it's the ordinary four ball. And so, although Thomas has got a putt for a net four, it's Sean Connery who has this for a three net two. Oh, good putt. Brilliant putt. And that's given the professional something to think about because that looks like a certain net three for Connery. Get in, honey. Oh, didn't break right, uh, best he can do is four. <laughs> now Pate, one feels, must hold this. Otherwise he and Trevino are going to go one down at the first hole. Hold it. Did you pull it? Oh, duck hook. Little duck hook. Duck hooked it. Little of each stroke. Well, that's the pros four. An opening par four. Tom's going to have a putt. Well, he's got this for a net four. Very promising as a young player, as Thomas Allen, and he's on the verge of high county honours there in the northeast. And singing took over, and that looks very nice indeed. Well, after all those trials and tribulations, he gets a net four. He gets the half. Oh, I'm sorry. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. You already got it down. Knock it in. Now Sean has this for a net three. Little tiddler, this to win the hole. Yes, sir. A net three for Sean Connery. And so, after one hole, Connery and Allen, one up on the mighty Trevino and Pate. Now, the second hole, which is the sixth, 172 yards, that long par three. There it is. Sun comes out. It's a lovely day. Lots of fluffy clouds about and a little bit of a a nip in the air, but it's very pleasant indeed. The wind's a little bit more behind today, and the the pros will be using well, five irons. Five iron will be enough, shouldn't it? I think so, partner. Yeah. And if I hit it, I'm thinking. Keep the head still. Keep the rhythm. Balance. Oh, nice. No, wait a minute. You get you get you get a little right hand kick there for oh, that bunker. Oh, I the bunker. No. You get a little right hand kick there. I did clear it. Yeah, it's in the back. It's not far from what the hole, in fact. Here. You're on, I think, or oh, on yeah. the edge. Mm. But I hit a now, Trevino also it. with a five iron. Oh, I love it. Is that any good? The drinks on you? That's like stealing. Oh, honey. Oh, oh wonderful oh. shot, Lee. Mm. Yeah. Golf shot. Great okay. shot. Yeah. It was a little one. You're right. Yeah. I hit it very little. Celebrities go small, 30 yards forward, no strokes. Sean with a six. Going right. Come left. Come away. Get left, honey. Mm -hmm. No, it's a bunker. Six. Big bounce left. Could be in sand. No. And it is. In the bunker? Yeah. I believe so. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. Strokes there. here. There he is, Sean down in there. Yeah. Now Thomas no, no stroke. is going to use an eight right? iron. Good looking swing. Might well have been a, a pro. There's a young fellow who's very keen on the game. Oh, nice look at that's this too partner. Far. No, it ain't either. Yeah, let's inside him. Beautiful <laughs> shot from uh, Thomas <laughs> Allen. <laughs> and I think the pros have got a match on their hands here today. That's what that means. So three players on the green. Connery down right on the edge of the bunker, just in the sand. Find you one of these girls and warm up. <laughs> Very well played from an awkward spot. I will, in fact, take just a foot or so off the putting surface, but a holeable one for a man of his calibre. Conray going for his three. And getting it. Well, hold short. Nothing new. Thomas Allen for a two. Hold a good one on the first. And he. <laughs> oh, repeats it on the second. My oh, God, what the hell have we got into here? <laughs> uh, indeed. Trevino for a half. He's up to it. So two birdies. Half in two. And on to the next with the celebrities. Connery and Allen. On to the seventh hole, their third. 436 yards, that's the green. Hidden away from the player's view. They can see the top half of the flag for their second shots. And there you get some idea of how the, the, the valley sort of runs up between the hills and the broom and the gorse and the fir trees. Really is delightful. Pate using a driver. Perfect. Perfect shot. Get down there, ball. Oh, that's long there. Woo! <laughs> Unbelievable how long that one is. Well, Trevino might just tiptoe past him. He usually does when he says things like that. That'll hurt. Yeah, that's not long, but I got it in the short stuff. Oh, that's a long ball. Well, indeed, Pate's ball some 25 yards past Trevino. Celebrities who have a 40-yard advantage here and both receive a stroke. Sean sticking to his forward. You can see he's very upright. He's a big man, over six foot tall, 14 and a half stone. And he really doesn't no. quite punch his weight. Pulley and into that wispy grass. Three wood for Thomas. That right hand very high on the grip. Really on top of the shaft. Oh, yeah. well, that's too bad, Thomas. Beautiful. Well, it might go. Yes, I think it will be all right. Mm. Yeah, good shot. Scratch belly. Yeah. <laughs> that the rover was very low. Connor is second shot first from the bank on the player's left. And well, he thinks he can get a five iron at it. He can indeed, but that could catch the bunker in the middle yep. of the fairway. It does. I'm not going to try and cut it. I'm going to try to just hold it there like I did the five iron on the last call. Okay, that's what you have Maybe, five? Yeah, I got four. Maybe even go. 
uh, with a little draw or something. Like that? Yeah. I'll tell you what, if that's not golf, if that's not golf, <laughs> you might make it, kid, if you keep Someday working. Someday I may make it. Yeah. You might make Wish it. Wish I was younger. You can't beat a bit of straight hitting. And Trevino certainly hits it straight. Thomas Allen. Uh, no. Eight iron. And caught the ground a bit heavy, but it staggers up and runs well. And with his putter red hot and a stroke it's gonna, it's gonna in hand, he's not I'd rather see a uh, smooth eight. I, yeah, I would too. The wind is really not helping it. Look at these pine trees. Look at the way. Hit that ball, hit it about 145. And if it's cut, it'll, it'll be right there. 140, maybe. You can hit a little easy 140, mm -hmm. Sean. Oh, it got over on it. Just a little, little bit. Kick right. Oh, no. Got right. over on it. Yeah. Had to be cut. Yeah. Had to be a cut. I had it set up left and just didn't get underneath didn't it. Didn't get, didn't get, didn't, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Connery from the deep bunker. Very deep bunker. <laughs> Playing three. No, I, Is that a great shot? I'm telling you. I see. I've seen two bunker shots already. They were unbelievable. The hardest shots in the world. The ball almost went in. Mm -hmm. right. So here's Thomas. Thomas Allen. Having hold two putts on the first two green. Well, he's a long way away. He's got a stroke, though. If he can get down in two, it will be another birdie. sees the light at the end of the tunnel and uh, but it's not very bright <laughs> Tate <laughs> tries for his three from just off the back of the green oh nice putt <laughs> no Connery next this really would be a fighting four if he can get this in. Missed the fairway with his tee shot. Bunker with his second. Very good third shot. And not quite straight enough, so he will get a net four. Which isn't too bad. Remember, this is match play. Four ball match play. The challenge between Thomas Allen and Sean Connery against the two professionals, Trevino and Tate. Now Thomas Allen, having left his first putt way short, has this for a three net. <laughs> Killer blow. be a train <laughs> <laughs> Trevino has to hole yet again after that superb iron shot well he did it at the last he's got this for a half in birdie three that away it's Great there Great putt. nine footer Great putt. and this really is a game of fun and for the connoisseur super stuff three holes play just one in it one up to the celebrities, and we turn round and head back down the 13th on the Queen's course. Their fourth hole, five, six, two yards, a par five. Both the celebrities get a stroke, uh, but with the length of Pate, if he can get a good tee shot away, he can, he can certainly reach the green in two. Whether Trevino can, I'm not altogether sure. So the odds slightly with the celebrities here at this yeah, long yeah, par five. Can, can. Although the wind has changed just a little bit from when we started, it's a touch against now. Oh, carry. Oh, that'll carry that bunker. You think so? Oh, yeah. Well, that is hit. 
and it stayed hit. Well, I'm not too sure. That's in the bunker. What? Yeah. Really? Pardon, Pardon me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that that might be in the bunker. Somewhere. Sorry, Mr. Trevino. I was wrong, sir. Trevino now got to shape one down the side yeah, of the bunker. He's cut it a bit too much, I fancy. Oh, yeah, I fell right away from it. Well, We're in trouble here. No, no, no. I made four last time I hit it. The pros may be getting a little nervous now. Forty yards up ahead. I made four last time. The celebrities. Let's hear what the pros have to say. Well, Peter, I think uh, Thomas is one of the best uh, celebrity players that I've played with in the entire series. He has an excellent grip, excellent setup, uh, good swing. And a matter of fact, uh, I don't know why he went into opera singing. I think he should have been a professional golfer. We've... Uh, Played a couple of holes and he's had uh, come on, come on. two come birdies and he's well, hit another perfect drive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Another fact, he nearly did go into professional golf when he was a youngster. He was uh, nearly, nearly went in as an assistant pro. Sean's uh, he's he's doing quite well. He's uh, this morning on the practice tee. I was getting him a lesson. Uh, he has a big problem of of when he doesn't play a lot. He, he tends to get a little quick in, in his left hand seems to do a lot of odd funny things down in the in the impact area but this morning i tried to tell him to keep the the, the the back of the left hand kind of accelerating towards the target which means that he's not breaking down as much he's played uh, a few holes and and he's hit the ball quite well uh, there's another great drive. he, he drew the ball a little that bit, off. again he collapsed the left hand a little bit but he's doing well and pulled it into the rough on the left as you could see both of them though receive a stroke so all is not yet lost with Pate in the bunker, Trevino off the fairway on the right-hand side. And so there's still a lot of golf to be played here at this 13th hole. Sean, you seem to be making uh, more films than ever, working very hard. In fact, do you have a, a, a sort of system of so many films a year? No, I was uh, just talking about it last night. I'm really uh, rather tired because of the way things worked out. But they seem to come and go in cycles of three. I had this picture outline which I premiered last night, which I shot in England, and at the same time I got uh, Wrong is Right, a picture I made of Richard Brooks in Hollywood, and Maiden Maiden with Zinnemann, and so they were all back to back, just enough space to do the publicity and support for each one as you finish backing up like I was over in America for Outland, and then here I am doing Maiden Maiden with Zinnemann in Switzerland. And, uh, and then there'll be a sort of it's feast of famine, you know. How long are you sort of uh, engaged on a film for? What is the us your usual sort of shooting period of time? Well, it varies greatly. I mean, Zinnemann is a very meticulous director. That This picture, I think it's 18 weeks. Brooks's picture was supposed to be uh, 16 weeks, and we came in a month ahead of schedule. Sidney Lumet's pictures, I've done five with him. He's very fast. We get on very uh, industriously. And uh, it just depends. It's usually, uh, the average is about 10, 12 weeks. Yeah, and you like to do, would you like to do, say, three a year? Uh, it's entirely dependent on how good the scripts are. Mm. You said a feast or a famine. Is that be because you seem to, we sort of picture goers, to have done such a wide variety of films. Mm -hmm. And some might say way out films, you know, the, mm. the space things and mm. the uh, yeah, exactly. surrealistic yeah. things. And the, what attracts you to those? Well, it's the measure of the writing, I think, and uh, there's no, if you wanted to do, um, stay, uh, for example, stay playing the same character, it would be easier to have done, say, the James Bond films, and then it's a case of just doing the same thing, and it ceases to be really interesting or stimulating, and uh, I think, anyway, it becomes very boring and limiting. Mm. Uh, an example of an actor who's tried many things, and... Uh, like his Burt Lancaster, and I think that's the reason why he's around still today. And I mean, as long as I still am enthusiastic, uh, but I think I took too much off this time. I got very tired. Mm. And you're getting on a bit, dear, are you? <laughs> I'm 50, <laughs> next, next 51. Yeah, no, I'm coming to the party. I tell you. <laughs> what a party. Hey, the last time I was in here, I was trying to hide from immigration. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's found really, the line. Get the hell out of the way. <laughs> Four wood. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, no. Chases it down the hill. Where'd he go? 
Tate's got to use uh, a nine iron out of the bunker. Good shot. Great shot, babe. Great shot, corner. See, you fly that baby right here? I flew it, yeah. I fly it right. Made a very good contact from the sand. Now, Sean, six iron, second shot. Just trying to get it between the bunker and the elbow so that he can uh, get on for three. Yep, perfect. Thomas, uh, five iron, just playing again for position. Through the ball very well. Good high follow through. And that's okay also. So the celebrity's in the driving seat. Both of them with strokes. You got it, can you fly it 190? Yeah. Yeah. You gotta fly it all the way. You gotta fly it to the front edge at least. To hold it? Yeah. Hey? To, to hold it, right? You mean if I no, to get to the flag. What did you got? It'll bounce in there, I guarantee you. Let me just see if I can't uh, hit this little left of the pin. Bounce it in there. Well, Jerry thought he certainly carried the bunker from the tee, and he had not. Oh. Wait a minute, it'll come off there. For an elf! Get up. No, sir. He hit somebody, I think. Or hit the tree. I stayed up on the hill there. Mm, that looks to be in a dreadful place. So Trevino, who's kept the match together so far, plays a funny little poking running seven low, iron. Partner. Just not enough. I was hitting seven iron. Trying to play a little bump and run. Now Thomas with a nine iron. Sounded a bit thin. Right. right off the bank. Oh, oh, could be in the edge of the water. Sean, pitching wedge. And that sounded a bit thin. Has he pulled that one? Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Someone headed that back over the side there, I think. Touch of good fortune. Thomas, it's grand to have you back with us again, and apart from that little slight error, you're swinging nicely. You've been playing a bit more golf since we were at Preston? Yes, a little bit more, Peter. It sort of inspired me, I think, that Prestwick occasion, yeah. and uh, so I got down to the practice ground on my own course, and uh, I've, been, I've been there, and, but uh, work interferes. That's Are you the, busy? The usual, sorry. Yes, very busy, okay. doing a lot of, uh, lot of operas uh, here, there, and everywhere, and rehearsing various other things, making a record, and... Yes, generally keeping very busy. And travelling a lot, uh, travelling a bit, America? Travelling, yes, rather increasingly you now, uh, yeah. to New York, to the Met, of course, and uh, lots of work. Settling down a little bit this year, a lot of work at Covent Garden. Yeah. About, uh, I think I've seen four or five operas there this season. Uh, How some long of my favourites. How long is the season? Stretches from about, when is it? September. September, is it? Through to about July, the middle of July, something like that. Sort of yeah. school term times, that's, yeah. that's kind of yeah, thing, you know? school term times. Yes, yeah. uh, And uh, I remember last time you were saying, well, you, the fan you were of Gordon McRae. Oh, and yes, Howard I am. Yes. And all that. And on this lovely day, and playing well, he was almost a, a cue for a song. Cue for Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Well, it is, isn't it? The golf's going well, too. The golf's so, going uh, your it's way. It's got to be a beautiful way. Yes, yes. For the moment, anyhow. You ready? Yeah. Well, now, Pate okay. in trouble. What's he going to do? <laughs> I see. I don't think that's in any textbook. Pate unplayable. He joined the club. And he goes, boop. And then he had the ball in his hand. I wonder if there's a great shot. I just passed it over my head for it right now, from the edge of the water with a very yeah, awkward shot. Very nice. 
paying four, yeah. and that's not going to make it. And will it stay up? Uh oh. <laughs> this shows you how short the grass is on the bank, and indeed the severity of the slope. I think he's done the same thing again. It could go back to him again. Just talk among yourselves for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Even further away and falls in a horrid place. Just shows you the importance of uh, selecting the shot and making sure, cutting down. This is interesting. Cutting down on your mistakes. Just make sure getting it on the green. Uh, that's what he should have done the first time. Made sure of getting it up. And that's six. His partner's there. Having had that fortunate bounce. It's Connery next. A little chip from the edge of the green. And pretty good. Got a stroke. Now Trevino He's had a couple of birdies so far. I think he may well need this in. This for a birdie four. And oh, what a lovely line! But how can I leave it short? He's going to make five holes. Connery with well, a chance to go two up. This for a net four, about a four footer. Maybe a touch less. And he's done it. Well, that was a battling five net four. This is no bueno por nada here, partner. <laughs> After four holes, the celebrities are two up. Well, the fifth hole, 14th, which is pillow. 218 yards and the pin you can see on the top level Trevino two iron going to try and hit a low chaser boy is that any good that's not hard enough no it is hell I can't see it get up it's not hard enough you stay on the bottom yeah Trevino doesn't usually make mistakes he knows where the ball's going and he knew that was short all the way. Pate also two iron. Oh, beautiful. Straighten it up, Win. That's got a bounce. Come talk. There it is. That's Go. The fifth part. Oh. Right up there by it, Now there's ball. a big advantage here for the celebrities. 45 yards, in fact. Uh, still a long iron for them. This is where Sean Connery gets his first extra stroke, and with them being two up, we might have been over generous. That was a three iron. Oh, I tell you what, these guys are beating us like. Lucky, lucky, they just hold the back of the green. Now, Thomas, after that uh, disastrous bout of chipping on the last hole, five iron. Oh, Could be bunker. Ooh. Oh, that's no good. That dived right in, too. That could be in a nasty place. Oh, look, right up under the lip. No. No. Well, the celebrities, two up on this lovely day. But Thomas with not a lovely liar. I don't think he can get this out. He'll do very well. It looks to be plugged. He's almost got to get it up vertically. I would have thought he might have done better coming out sideways. But, but, but. but. He did very well to shift that at all. His partner's on the back of the green now. Ah, it's that golden moment now. Allen playing three up and up and up and up. Ah, pretty good. Trevino from the bottom level. Oh, 
Oh, I pulled it, partner. What a great putt. Well, now the conversation's getting a little bit less. Trevino lights up a smoke. Connery, two putts for a net two. That looks to be a beauty. Oh, just ran out of steam. But it was fast. Trevino putting first to get the par. And succeeding nicely. He showed him the line. Now his partner for a two. And I think he's going to need it. And he oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. so Connery with a little putt to go three up. Well, we gave him two extra strokes. This is the first of them, and it looks as if he's going to use it, although his swing gets a little bit quick with the putter, a little quick and edgy, but that's not very far. Now, we'll just watch the speed of this putter head. Oh, oh, Sean, that really was one of mine. That was a horrid you one. You didn't try on that. Oh, 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 well, he didn't use his stroke. And so after five holes, that, they remain two. Sorry, Tom. Davey. And on to their sixth hole, the 15th. Two, six, five yards, par four. And we've seen some beautiful shots here from the professionals particularly Trevino. He's driven this green time and time again. Incidentally, so have the celebrities. We've seen some cracking shots from them. It's uh, Connery to go first after making a bit of a botch of that last hole, but he gets a stroke here, and here he is with a forward. Got to get up a little bit. No, it's on top. And coming in, curling round. And that just gets the very edge of the green. Good shot. And it's still coming, still coming. Oh, oh, oh there for nothing. Now the mighty Thomas has got an iron out, a two iron. Well, he's got to give this a fair old crack. Right. Yep, <clears throat> the Bonnie Heather. Now then, the pros really have a battle on their hands here. Trevino is uh, going to shape one with a driver, aiming it miles left. He's going to just chop this one in, try and get it running onto the front of the green. That is unbelievable right there. Oh. There he comes. That is so good. <laughs> For the driver. Tate with a five wood. Can you bring it back? Got to hurry. Yeah, we got a little Oh, nice bounce. Okay. Pros are fighting back. But Sean on the green, long way away. But he's certainly in a position there to get yet another birdie. If not an eagle. But first his partner from down the hill, pitching wedge. Enjoying the sun and the golf too. And up she comes. And look at this. Very nice indeed. Well, the first to putt will be Sean Connery. And what a transformation in him since his match against Alan Price when he was really out of touch. 
I don't know whether we should have given him the extra strokes, although he's only used one so far. He only had one, and he didn't make use of that. So the pros really can't complain. This is his second shot on this par four, and he gets a stroke. I don't believe it. <laughs> the same man has missed that little putt on the last. Gets a two, net one, and that's an albatross. You don't see many of them. Net all for real. <laughs> Willie, is that the handicap system? Get the damn clubs, we're going in. <laughs> Well, what a blow. A body blow. So after six holes, uh, three up. What a game it is. Did you get a stroke, Sean? Here? <laughs> oh, what a lovely feeling. Two net one. Recorded forever. <laughs> now onto their 16th hole, or the 16th hole on the Queens, their seventh in fact, 379 yards, a par four, down the hill, and I think the pros, particularly Jerry Pate, will be trying to almost drive this green. Three down, three to play. Sean sticking with his forward, and he gets his second extra stroke here. No, it's gone. Yeah, you got a little too quick with it. Yeah. Trouble. Thomas, to Wood, he has a stroke. That's perfect there. If it's not one, it's t'other. It's a nice drive. Yeah, you got to go left to right with a big high one. Yeah, that's the only way he might be able to get it there. Not today, though. Get up! Go! Oh, that's on, too. No. Well, oh, no, that's way short. Oh, way short. That was a I tremendous hit that drive. Knuckle ball. Hey, why is it? The hooded club, the hooded club. What? <laughs> you see that? That baby will come out of there steaming. <laughs> Watch this thing. That thing was steam there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the pros really have their work cut out now. Although Sean's in the rough, he's found a reasonable lie. Good lie, in fact. Nine iron. Oh, great shot. Perfect. Oh, look at this. He really is a killer today. He's there for one again. <laughs> Thomas, pitching wedge. They both get strokes. And that could be in the hole. I don't believe it if it goes in the hole. And the conversations dwindled a bit. <laughs> Trevino with a sandwich. Let's see if he can conjure a bit of magic here. Very good for distance. Yes, turning in. Pate, well now, he's got his putting machine out. Touch of the David Thomases. He was a dab hand at getting close from this sort of distance with a putter. So that was a woeful effort. And I don't think Jerry's lost his turn.
No, got the line, still short. So after that superb drive, Pate is just tapping it in for a four. Next is Sean Connery. Well, he missed a little tiddly one on the previous hole but one. A monster on the last hole. And look at the swing there. Now, is he going to mark it or is he going to tap it in for a net three? We are finished. You are finished indeed. Three up and that near nails the coffin lid down. But Trevino can keep the score down to three and two if he can hold this. Good strike. Lovely putt. Oh, unlucky. Well, Trevino's showed us some beautiful shots today. That's a four, though. And uh, victory for the celebrities by four and two. And I hope you've enjoyed that match, four-ball match, the game you play every Saturday and Sunday, probably. And it just shows you the importance of dovetailing, working for your partner, playing together. Well, how about that? A victory by four and two for our celebrities. I think we're rather over-handicapped. I think we gave them a few too many strokes. I, uh, yes, but you know, Sean wasn't playing that well, and I made the mistake of, of giving him a golf lesson this morning. Ah. Uh, and, you know, there's an old saying, when you open mouth, you find foot. So, uh, <laughs> we enjoyed it, though, very much. Enjoyed it. They were pretty hot stuff, weren't they? Well, they were, and uh, I, th I would say it was rather like stealing the way they played today. And uh, when Sean drove the par four and then hold it for a two-net one, I knew we were in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and a lovely crystal vase each to take home. Thomas also gets this little yeah, suite of glasses. Mm. Good game, eh? Well, I must say I enjoyed it much better than my last <laughs> showing, but I, it's true what Lee said. He took me on the practice tee this morning and he straightened out. And what did he tell you to do? Well, it was the left hand. I was so weak and letting, uh, coming over the top of mm -hmm. it, and uh, so he put me going straight in a line. So that's it. Everybody has to look out. I'd like to replay Alan. <laughs> I think Lee and I against Alan and, uh, Alan and Jerry. Yeah, we get them around, yeah. yeah. It was fascinating, though, for us to watch the match play situation because it really, although you probably had too many strokes, the, we did. The, yeah. the two putts that you hold, well, on, on yes. the, well, it yes. didn't matter at the first because so much because Sean had got in there three, yeah, yes. but you were there, and then for him to drive the green That's right. and hold yeah. the putt, and then the, but that could have is, gone the other way, but there we were. We well, it, well, there you are. It could have gone whatever way, and that's just the fascination of this game of golf. I hope you've enjoyed our series, and if we're all spared, we hope to be with you another year. Bye-bye.